So IPF is essentially the prototypical um, interstitial lung disease or oftentimes referred to as pulmonary fibrosis. There's many different kinds, but IPF, the I in IPF stands for idiopathic, which means we don't know why the disease occurs in, in essentially all of these situations. It is a rare disease, um, as, as you know, and it unfortunately affects people um, in their sixth and seventh decades of life, but both men and women, smokers and non, um, there are some genetic tendencies, but largely, again, um, we don't know the cause in, in these cases. And, and it's characterized by progressive fibrosis or scarring in, of the lung tissue itself. So this is different from asthma and COPD, which primarily affect the airways. This affects the lung tissue uh, the, the interspace between the, the airways and the blood vessels, and it affects how, um, how then gas is transferred between the, uh, between the airways and into our bodies, into the blood vessels. Un unfortunately, the disease is, is kind of insidious in its onset. It's typically characterized by progressive shortness of breath, cough, uh, problems with exercise or exertion, which is very nonspecific and oftentimes can be seen with many other diseases, both of the lungs, of the heart, of other organs. And patients go through many, many months, if not years of um, misdiagnoses or kind of a prolonged path to get diagnosed because the disease is, is on the rare side. So if, when the astute clinician kind of keys into these unfortunately nondescript symptoms, the shortness of breath and maybe the cough, the exercise intolerance. One of the things, one of the first things they'll detect on on their physical examination are crackles or Velcro-like crackles, typically in the back of the in the bottom or the bases of the lungs, or the oftentimes the first times, first places these are detected. These crackles, um, but really, it's on the diagnostic tests have evolved over the years, and and many more patients are diagnosed based on a high resolution CAT scan of their lungs. Uh, which has certain features consistent with what's called UIP or usual interstitial pneumonia. It's a certain pattern that the radiologists see on the CAT scans that in the right clinical context, if everything else is ruled out, can be diagnostic for IPF. Um, that's not always the case. Not every CAT scan reads the textbook and some are uh, kind of indeterminate or inconclusive. And then some patients will go on to surgical lung biopsy um, which is a, you know, an invasive chest procedure. It's a major chest surgery and comes with its own risks. Um, but the good news is that the rates of surgical lung biopsy have been going down over the years as CAT scan technology has improved. So uh, it's largely a combination of, it's mostly CT scan, but sometimes relying on surgical lung biopsy to find this usual interstitial pneumonia or UIP pattern, which is the, the hallmark uh, pattern of IPF.